Navajo man here again with another content. I'm still here in Sacramento, California. I got two more days left and then uh, then I get to go home back to South Dakota. Today I'm gonna take you guys on the adventure, but we got an exam early this morning. So I'm gonna go through a classroom training or I'm gonna go through a classroom uh, test with you guys. You guys will see real quick. Um, I'll try to vlog whatever I can. Like I said, there'll be a bunch of higher ups. And so I'll be out of out of respect. Um, I'll take you guys out. And then we're gonna. I think we're gonna be out in the field today. Uh, we're doing some heavy equipment operator, heavy equipment boss, which is you working with the heavy equipment out on the fire line. Things you gotta do. Things you gotta look for. You know, just all these scenarios and tactics that we gotta use um, as we're out on the fire line. So I'll just take you guys along with you guys. I'm not going to get too deep into details with everything I'm, I'm doing here. Just, just, just entertain, just to entertain you guys. I know you guys are probably missing Navajo, man. I'm missing my family. So yeah. So that being said, hit that like button, subscribe and welcome to the channel. If you're new, let's do this. This is the morning here. Everything's all dewy, like all the windows, see that? All the dew on the windows. And then it has, it has that like Phoenix smell. Remember early in the mornings when you wake up in Phoenix and um, you're going to work? Kind of smells like that, like asphalt and has some weird smell to it. I don't know, it's the city life. And y'all know I'm already going that way, so. So I'm thinking, I'm debating of going to the store, to the commissary, or to the class. But if I do either one, I have only 30 minutes left. Uh, I ended up choosing class, because uh, oh, I got to be there 15 minutes before um, start time. So right now it's like 7.30. And I can't afford to be late. I don't know if it's just me or what, but um, the longer I stay down here, the more like easy, like easier I get cold. And it's only like, like if, for example, if it's really like 68 degrees in South Dakota, that would be nice. That would be perfect. But man, here I'm just like cold. I'm like, you know, the other day I had a beanie on. I don't know what's going on with me. Get me out of this city. I need to go home. Having a quick bite to eat. Right next to Folsom Prison. Got the Folsom Prison Blues. Eat as we go. And you know that's where dad and that's where dad served time at. Got some hard time under dad's belt. Grab it, grab that black part, yeah. 
take them off and replace them without having to remove the tracks. Oh, cool, uh, yeah. These will wear super thin. They'll get really thin and really pointy. They'll wear out. So if they're too thin and too pointy, they'll start skipping. they're going to give us the opportunity to drive the dozer that's what we'll be doing we got one guy in there right now learning how to drive it so we're going to start dozing our way up and then back down the hill one by one But you can see how someone can disappear behind. Oh yeah, for something, sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you're not keeping like a real good heads up. Yeah. Bye. So I've been a dozer operator. Damn. Kind of like playing a video game. At this point, everyone's just having fun now. We got people in here, we got people driving around. 
Yeah, at this point, everybody's just having fun now. We're just trying to kill time. I guess that's gonna be it for the uh, training. We're gonna go back to the rigs, wrap it up, debrief, and talk about the training we just did. And uh, I'll, I'll update you guys some more. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoyed that content. Um, that was heavy equipment operation. We were just learning how to drive a bulldozer, learning, you know, a lot of these things that go within the fire tactics, you know, with heavy equipment. So bulldozers and um, many more other uh, heavy equipment are used within these operations. So we got hands-on, hands-on training, and we got first hand on, you know, what we're going to encounter, how we're, how, how like to familiarize ourselves with these machines. I enjoyed that course. It was an awesome course. I got, I did like, I enjoyed the hands-on training. It was pretty cool, really beneficial for me, especially in this job. Um, yeah, but shout out to everybody, all the course, all the uh, instructors who led the course. Um, and shout out to Sacramento, you know, not the greatest place to be for training. You know, you know what I mean when I say Northern Sacramento, Northern Sacramento. It's kind of a rough place to be, but I mean, inside these gates, it's pretty awesome training stuff, you know, great opportunities and stuff. But I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to pack up my things. I'm actually literally doing my laundry right now. Um, I'm bagging all my clothes here. I have to rewash some stuff. Uh, my table here needs to be clean. I have to update my time and yeah, everything in the back. It's yeah. so today, to, Tomorrow is my last day here, so but tonight is my last night. So by the time you guys see this, yeah, it'll be uh, the end of my role here in California. By tomorrow um, afternoon or evening, I should be, uh, my last night should be here in California, uh, near the airport. I'll be staying by the airport. Um, the government hooked me up with the hotel, so shout out government aid. And then the day after, I'll be in Sac... Oh man, I'm a Sac... I'll be back in South Dakota. So, Mama Bear, Lakota Bay, Twin Indians, Daddy be home soon. And yeah, I'll be looking forward to reuniting with the family. And oh, yeah, graduations tomorrow. I forgot to mention graduations tomorrow for all of us. Uh, we're going to be looking sharp. We, I'm going to try to vlog what I can tomorrow. Um, I don't have a camera guy, and you know, a lot of people are going to be filming themselves too. So, um, I don't know, but I'll I'll try to get what I can. Biga, bueno, all right, watch well, stay. It's Johnny. So with that being said, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share this video, share our content. Go out there, tell your people, you know, do good things, do good things within the community. Even though even though some in laws are not cooperative with you, do your best manage it handle it and uh no i don't got no inspirational quotes for them in-laws out there so not tonight not or not today not tonight you guys uh gonna have to wait another content i'm just looking forward i'm happy that i'm getting closer to getting home so right now my mind is just at home so and getting over graduation i wish my family could be here i wish my mom could be here you know but due to covid restrictions nobody's family is coming it's just gonna be us so fair and square. Till next right. time. Till next time. Be gahe. Yeah.